hey everyone welcome back to my channel it's me your girl leah lee and we are doing another facial duh of course that's why we're all here so i want to get out the way a couple things that i want to start mentioning in the beginning of videos because i have so many questions on the same thing you guys please check out my amazon store link in the description if you are ever curious about any machines disposables towels any and everything you could think about that i use in the spa or in the treatment room check out my amazon store if you're ever interested in anything that i use at home lights decorations whatever check out my amazon store so getting into this facial we are going to use the pomegranate cleanser this has aloe hoba hoba and grapeseed which is an amazing cleanser for hydrating the skin it stays a cream to milk texture, so we will not get that astringent soapy cleanser that we will typically get with any other cleanser. For those that may be new to my channel, I typically cleanse two times. Each cleanse lasts about two to three minutes. If my client has makeup on, of course, the cleanses will last a little bit longer and may even need a different type of cleanser which can total up to three sometimes. But typically we're just gonna go in with two. And my sponges are my best friend. Thanks everybody so much for all the feedback and sharing how y'all use y'all sponges in your treatment room. It seems like a lot of us have a lot of similarities, which is a good thing because sometimes I feel like maybe I do some things that are like super different from what everybody else does. Nonetheless, moving on to the green tea cleanser. Y'all know this is my go-to. This is this client's first time in my treatment room. So y'all know I take it easy, take it slow for the most part. I don't like to use too many active ingredients because I don't want to shock their skin. evening is suffering from hyperpigmentation and just lack of radiance and dull skin so of course without a doubt I'm going in with my lemon zest enzyme I promise you guys I'm going to switch it up but for the most part if products work and we all know the popular saying if it's not broke then don't fix it so I use what I use because it works and I see great results from it this enzyme is going to stay on her skin with the steam for about 7 to 10 minutes and then I'll be removing it with my sponges. My favorite dermaplaning scalpel is from Swan Morton, and these are the stainless steel surgical blades. I purchased these off of Amazon, so check it out in my store. Once again, the oil that I will be using to oil plane with is from Image Skincare, and this is the Vital C Hydrating Facial Oil. I did jump around while filming the dermaplaning portion of this treatment, only simply because you guys, it's the, literally the same exact movement, movements all over the face. And my client was also filming several TikToks during this part of the facial. So there was really no point of y'all seeing all that. But she was so much fun. We was getting a TikToks in. I need to encourage clients to film more TikToks because I'm trying to get TikTok famous. <laughs>
for this bit of the video, I'm going to let the tutorial ride out. I know for the most part, everyone's cool with that. Y'all like seeing the full real time of the treatment. So here y'all are. All finished with the dermaplaning, I'm moving into extractions. Sometimes I do extractions before the dermaplaning, depending on how many extractions are necessary. Um, but today I just did the extractions afterwards, and I'm going to now tone with the Cucumber Toner from SkinScript. My client had me cracking up. She had had a first time terrible experience with high frequency. So she was so freaked out and so nervous the entire time. Y'all can see she was extra jumpy, but we got through it. I did not have the high frequency high. I honestly never do. Um, I never even get to the middle of the knob on the high frequency because it just goes entirely too high. But y'all can see, she was making it through, but she was still like, honey, oh my goodness, this hurts. This is just, it throws a lot of people off. I get it. It's like electricity shocks to the face. Who wants that? Time for the algae peel off mask from Cosmara. This is the Kiwi and Poppy resistance mask. You guys, I'm gonna just let y'all watch this because I don't know what was going through my client's head, but somehow the mask got into her mouth and I was like, um, <laughs> what is going on? But I didn't really realize how much I got into her mouth until we peeled it off. So y'all are gonna see, like she full blown opened her mouth. Like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was confused. She was too, obviously. <laughs>
Once I remove this hot towel, I'm going to be applying the hydrating moisturizer and these human stem cells melatonin. This is my little keepsake, my little secret that I use to correct hyperpigmentation. I also use it during my microneedling sessions, but that's a secret. I got to keep some things for myself and if y'all can find it, kudos to y'all, but that's a serum that I use. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize it into her skin. Make sure it gets fully rubbed in and we are going to wrap this treatment up. This treatment this evening I'm going to be using the image or medic lip balancing complex we all know what this is and if you want your own you got to pick it up on my website www.glambyleali.com and click under skincare thank you all so much for watching this video if you have watched it all the way through comment pound dope and I'm replying back to everyone who does I'll see you on my next video bye y'all